Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the hard drive in a 13-inch unibody MacBook Pro, which was introduced in mid-2009. We have already transferred our data, gathered the tools listed at the beginning of the video, are working on a static-free surface, and have shut down the computer. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. There are a total of 10 screws to remove on the bottom. Use your number 00 Phillips screwdriver to remove them. Starting at the top, remove the three screws on the right which are considerably longer than the other screws. Then. Remove the leftmost screw, which is the same size as the remaining ones. Next, remove the six screws along the bottom. Starting near the hinge edge, simply lift up on the bottom cover and set it aside. You should be able to see the hard drive located in the lower left corner of the computer. To remove the drive, you'll first need to remove the retaining bar by loosening these two screws, then lifting it clear. Detach the drive by first lifting it out with the plastic tab, then sliding the SATA connector off. Using your Torx 6 screwdriver, remove these four mounting screws. Once the screws are removed, gently peel off the pull tab and set the drive aside. Take the tab you removed from the old drive and attach it to the new one. There should be enough residual adhesive left to allow it to stick. Attach the four mounting screws to the new drive. Next, attach the SATA connector to the drive and slide the whole unit into place making sure it sits flat. You may then secure the drive in place by reattaching the retainer bar. Set the bottom cover into place. Then, install the four screws along the top edge. Don't forget that the three screws on the right are the longer ones while the one on the left is shorter. Then, replace the six screws along the front and side edges. You should note that these screws don't go in straight down, they go in at an angle. You may now turn your MacBook Pro back over, open it up, and turn it on. 